Christier. So today I do have a foundation um, try on for you guys, a get ready with me video. So today I did use the Morphe. It is in the color F260. It's a matte full coverage foundation. So this is the first time I'm actually doing it on camera. I think I'll use it once or twice. Uh, but I think I kind of like it now. It looks great from here. Um, and then I did use my Betty Boop palette today. If you guys want to see how I got this look and support my channel, just keep watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah, 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 mwah. Guys. Because right there is a little bit too light for me, but we're going to give it a few minutes or whatever and see how it turns out. Okay. Don't mind the background. I'm in like my living room slash kitchen and then I have my desk right in the middle between those two so that's what I'm working with today um, I'm gonna try and work on some kind of background or one section of my house that can do only videos I'm still working on that and it does come in many um, colors I'm not too sure what is the amount of colors it comes in but I'll get back to you guys on that so let's get started as you can see my face is damaged from the Sun it's red and I do have oily skin and I do have mature skin I'm in my late 40s so we'll see how that goes I still feel young inside but I'm in my age the number is getting higher every time. I'm like, oh. Okay, so we're gonna just do, this is the LA. Okay, so I did go in with the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. Then I went in with my um, Sigma F80 to apply my foundation. So at this point, it looks a little bit light for my skin, but it does oxidize and it kind of blended with my skin after. Now I'm just using my Real Techniques uh, sponge to blend my foundation. I did add some fixing spray to my sponge. As you can see, it's a little bit too white for me. But we're just gonna work with it anyway. So this would be the F260. If you're this color, if you're my skin tone, this is not gonna match. But we're gonna work on it. We're gonna do the contour and all that stuff before we can judge it, okay? But so far, I don't know if I'm loving it. I don't... Let's see. gonna finish up putting the rest of my makeup on and see how I like it then okay. um, and I'm gonna use the Kylie Jenner uh, I just purchased I just got this so I'm gonna try it out today so I did go under my eye with the Kylie Jenner concealer in the color amber so there I'm just using a translucent powder to set my under eye and my nose and stuff And there I am using my Betty Boop palette that I did get in my Ipsy Glam bag. I'm using, I don't know what the colors are, but I'm using the peach one with the plum looking color. I didn't feel like getting up to grab my brush, so I just used my fingers today. Why not? We use fingers like ever since way back when.
And there I'm using the Bro Fiction Stay Put Brow Pencil in the color uh, medium. It's from European Wax Center. And then later on, I will go in with the powder. And the powder is in Sienna medium from European Wax Center as well. And for my contour, I did go with Tarte, the sculptor, number in the number one. And then over that, I did do the Lovecraft Beauty in Sunivia. Though I also got that on my Ipsy. And for my lip liner, I'm using KKW Beauty in the color Nude 3. Okay, so that would be the Kim Kardashian lipstick and lip liner. For the lipstick color, it's the Nude 7. I really love those colors. It's a nice, pretty color. And the lipstick is a good formula. I love it. And for the highlight and the blush again, I've been using the Madison Miller from Ofra. I've been liking that palette. And for my under eye, it's the Alme Gel Smooth Liner in Metallic. And the color is pink about it. And for the mascara, I just grabbed the any one that I had in my drawer. It was Clinique, the high impact mascara, and I did end up using my favorite eyelashes. The eyelashes was Kiss, and the name is Teddy. Hey guys, so this is my final look of the day. So today I did use my Morphe. I mean, from here it looks okay. On the camera it looks great, but when I look close up, it looks alright. Maybe I'll try reaching for reach for it more often. But I did use this today, and I did mix it up with this uh, palette that I got in my empty bag, the Betty Boop. So that is the look right there. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I thought I just put one up today. Um, yeah, makes me feel better when I put makeup on and stuff like that. So it wasn't a very good morning, but it'll be a great day, right? Just gotta keep going. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah, 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 mwah.